So if I was going to do this problem, again, without even knowing what I'm doing, the first thing I'm going to do, if I, they're asking me to solve, Shane, the first thing I'm going to do is set 0 in for y. Yes? Does that make sense? Always, anytime we're asking to solve these quadratics, set your y equal to 0. Or if it's an f of x, if we're dealing with a function, set f of x equal to 0. But set it equal to 0. <coughs> now, on the last example, we only had 1x or 1x squared, right? So we could just solve for that x squared. From now on, I'm going to tell you none of our problems are only going to have 1x squared. So what we're going to have to do is do what we call um, factoring. And the first thing we look into factoring for every single one of these, the first step always is going to be your factor, your GCF. You always want to look to factoring out your GCF. So when looking into factoring your GCF, the GCF represents your greatest common factor. All right. So what we want to do is look at and see what do these two terms, terms are separated by addition and subtraction, what do these two terms have in common? What do they share? Do they do that? They share an x, right? This has an x squared, and this has an x. So I can divide an x. D do any? Is there a number that divides into four and twenty-five? Do they have share any factors with numbers? No. So we can't factor any numbers. So your GCF is equal to x. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to divide both of our terms by our GCF. So therefore, so we take our GCF and we write it on the outside. And then we take, well, what happens when we divide both terms by our GCF? Basically, what we're doing is we're dividing out our GCF. And when we divide out our GCF, we're left with 4x minus 25. All right. Now, the third. Because what I did is I took my x, whatever I divided out, and I put it back out here. Because what I want you guys to know, when, you're, when we are doing factoring, what you, factoring is basically rewriting an expression as multiplication. Do you guys see how this is now a multiplication problem? OK? So whatever, whatever you divide out, it doesn't matter what this number is. Whatever you divide out, you're going to put outside the parentheses. Then whatever, you, whatever your quotient is, once you divided it, you're going to have inside that parentheses. Does that kind of make sense? So therefore, now I have this. Now again, the, last, the other thing I want you guys to do is always check your work. You guys can do, you guys can determine if this is correct or not. How? You can apply distributive property. 0 equals x times 4x minus 25. Apply distributive property. x times 4x is 4x squared. x times negative 25 is? So do you guys see how this is a, mul this is a multiplied form of um, our original expression? Yes? OK. So now the last thing that we need to go over is what we call the zero product property. And what the zero product property states, the reason why we do factoring is we want to write it as a product. We want to write it as multiplication. Because whenever you have two, th two numbers or two expressions that multiply to give you 0, one of them has to equal 0. So the last step is what we call the zero product property. And to do that, we just write each of these set equal to uh, 0. Now this, obviously, x is equal to 0. That works. And then here, can we solve for this? Yeah. Just add 25. And then divide by 4. x equals 25 fourths. And therefore, you guys can see your final answer.